Hello, welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin. There's been an early Christmas present for nearly 100 unemployed people in Birmingham today after they were given jobs at a new Tesco store set to open next year. The people were lined up for the jobs in Hodge Hill through a regeneration partnership set up between the City Council, government bodies and Tesco itself. The council has hailed it as a success story, particularly given the difficulties the city has had with unemployment recently. I've got Anna Blackaby here, who knows more about this. So Anna, I mean, uh, can you put this in the wider context for us? Yeah, well, clearly it's great news for the region. Any news about jobs being created is brilliant, especially at this time of year when it's really not very nice to be out of work. Um, and it comes as job business is very much in, in the, at the top of the agenda at the moment. Obviously, we had yesterday's national statistics and regional statistics showing that the unemployment in the West Midlands is still at the bottom of the, the national league table. Um, we've got the highest uh, figure for any region. Um, and it comes as today we've also seen another bit of positive news coming out of uh, the job sector in the West Midlands. We've seen uh, Codemasters, the big computer games makers down in Warwickshire, they're announcing another 30 jobs to be created in their customer services department. So clearly this is really to be welcomed. Um, there will be some, though, that are slightly concerned about the, the balance of, of the kinds of jobs that we're seeing created and the kinds of jobs that we're seeing going, disappearing. Um, for example, we recently lost hundreds of jobs in Coventry at Ericsson, um, highly skilled jobs there, and the Forensic Science Service, where there's lots, uh, quite a few science, scientists, highly skilled scientists, were, were lost. So clearly some, there will be some business leaders in the region worrying about the kinds of jobs that are being created and whether they can uh, compensate for the, the loss of skills that we're seeing here in the West Midlands. Well, thanks for that, Anna. Well, there's a new Birmingham Post out this week, plenty of stories in there. We've revealed the true cost of the Council's plans to rebuild Birmingham Central Library. We've spoken to the local entrepreneurs who are taking on Google, and I've reported back from my trip to one of the region's top breweries. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Walk one.